Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our weekly Oracle and Tarot card reading. And today's reading is going to be for the October 9th through the 15th dates, and we're going to be using the Archangel Power Tarot cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. And let's get started with the reading. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all angels, light beings, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. At the beginning of the week, we have Four of Michael. In the middle of the week, we have number 18, the moon. And for the end of the week, we have the Five of Gabriel. So, the Four of Michael, and it says, Insights that come from quiet meditation, the need for more sleep or time off, seek relief from stress. Yes, a lot of you out there are just running yourselves ragged. You're not getting enough sleep. Most people I know maybe get four to five hours a night. Realize that when you're not resting your body, you're not doing it any justice. When you're at rest and you're sleeping, that's when your body does all of its maintenance. So it's important this week that you try to maybe get to bed earlier. Um, I know a lot of us can't sleep, you know what I mean, um, that long, you know, maybe, you know, six hours is good for you, but, but try to get as much sleep as you can. Um, you're going to feel much better. Our lives and our bodies weren't meant to run on hyperspeed all the time. Uh, when we're not getting enough sleep, it's affecting our metabolism, okay? You may be putting on weight because you're not getting enough rest. It affects our immune system, Okay, you may be experiencing, you know, colds and 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 maybe, you know, headaches and stuff like that because you're not fully rested. This is telling me that a lot of you out there need to make rest a priority for yourself this week. Um, and not just this week, every day, every month, every year that goes by that, you know, you're not getting enough rest. We never make that up. But you could start from this point going forward, you know, to maybe try to get at least an extra hour. An extra hour would make a big difference. By the end of the week, that's seven extra hours of rest. So the angels want us to rest our bodies and pay attention, you know, to, to making sure that when your body's telling you that you're exhausting, you've had enough, listen to it, okay? There's a reason why our body tells us these things before we become ill or maybe even, you know, exhausted so much that some people end up hospitalized for exhaustion. I know I used to work myself to death. And it wasn't right. I wasn't feeling my best. I wasn't able to give my best to other people. Um, and I'm actually downright miserable when I don't get my sleep. I'm, I'm a sleeper. I actually sleep at least 11, 12 hours a night, which I know is very unusual. But I've been doing this since I was a baby. So I highly recommend getting some sleep. And here we have card 18, the moon, Archangel Haniel. And it's a beautiful, beautiful angel. And there's a full moon in the background. And the card is saying the opportunity to improve your plans. Listen to your intuition for accurate guidance. Face your fears and grow stronger. So maybe there's some type of a problem that you've been going back and forth in your head about. This is telling me by the middle of the week, if you could get some quiet time to yourself and go within, okay, and listen to what your intuition is telling you, you're going to find the answer, okay? So someone out there has been exhausting themselves, Okay, you're completely drained and exhausted from whatever situation you're going through. You know, it could be with a partner, it could be with a friend, a family member, maybe your job, your children. But whatever it is, it's time for you to take a break and rest before this, you know, makes you ill. And this here is telling me that, you know, when you get this quiet time, okay, you're going to be able to go within, okay. Maybe after you're well rested, you're going to be able to go within, and the answer you seek, okay, is, is going to be there. But if you're hustling and bustling around all day long, constantly rushing here and there, you're not taking time to listen to your inner voice. And our intuition is there for a reason. It's our internal warning system that lets us know what possible danger there is. And anytime I've ignored my intuition, I regretted it. So it doesn't take long for you to... Try to get some quiet time. Go within. Trust that inner voice. That's where your answer is going to be. And then the last card is the five of Gabriel. How beautiful. How 
Okay, and the five of Gabriel saying a challenge you can resolve. Withdraw from the drama of others. Have patience with yourself and those around you. Okay, so whatever the problem is, is you're going to be able to resolve it. However, the angels want us to know not to give in to the drama of it. Okay, if there are people that just want to argue and they just want to cause more problems and be dramatic and make things out to be worse than they are, step away from them. Okay, the only way you're going to solve your problems is if you have a clear head. But there's some people out there that just love to stir up drama. I mean, it's, it's, they've made a life of it. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people out there that do that. And when you're trying to make a decision, to overcome a problem or challenge in your life, the last thing you need is to be surrounded by a bunch of drama. Okay, so this card is telling you that you will be able to resolve the challenge. Okay, and that you have to be patient. Because everything I feel happens in divine timing and divine order. So whatever this resolution to your problem is, you know, whatever the resolution is going to be, maybe certain things have to take place before this resolution could fall into place. Okay, there might be a chain of events, you know, that might not happen overnight, but this is telling you to be patient. You will resolve it. It will work itself out if you stay away from the drama, you get some quiet time to yourself, you listen to your intuition, Okay, you start giving your body some of that rest because believe me, we could get our self caught up in so many stressful situations, relationships uh, that we need to take care of ourselves because if you become so stressed out that you're ill, you're not going to be able to do anything. It's going to make it even worse, whatever the situation is. So get some rest, go within and listen to what your heart and your feelings and your intuition and the inner voice is saying. And then step back and be patient. Don't give in to the drama. Step back from that. Things will work out. Sometimes the resolution is removing yourself uh, and, and from situations and relationships where the other person just wants to stir up trouble and drama. Maybe that's going to be the resolution. Maybe when you sit back and you get this quiet time and you're patient, you're going to realize that there's certain people that you know aren't meant to be in your life anymore. If you want a life of, of inner peace and, and happiness, there are some people that just need to be shown the door. And, and I don't mean that in a cruel way, but if somebody's constantly, you know, being counterproductive and not allowing you to do what you want to do in your life, then maybe it's time that you break ties with those type of people. You know, we're not meant to be friends with everyone. And I know I've had to break off a lot of ties in order to get to the point where I'm at now. And I didn't realize it when you're caught up in the drama and you're caught up with these people and they're people you see every day, you know, you just go along with it. But you have choices. You could decide to leave the drama behind and you'll be much happier for it. Drama doesn't solve anything. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.